Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you three quick tips on how you can instantly improve your workflow in Logic. So hit that subscribe button and remember to like the video if you enjoy this, but hey, let's get right into the video. So tip number one for improving your workflow in Logic is to track stack. This is a great way to tidy up the audio files, especially if you've got multiple audio files, maybe 10 just signed to a drum kit, and you wanna condense that down so you can see the whole project on your screen. I'm gonna show you quickly how you can do that. So as you can see in our project here, we have nine files which are assigned to the drums, uh, kick, snare, toms, hi-hats and overheads and a hall mic. I'm gonna send them all into one output track. So what we do is you wanna hit Command, Shift and D, which will bring up summing stack. And then if you hit Create, you've now got one track which all the drums go through and on the output. The other great thing about track stacking is if it's summing, that means you can now manipulate the whole sound of the whole drum kit together, which is really great if you want to compress the whole drum sound more. But you can EQ the whole kit so you can get the drum kit sounding exactly how you want it. So if we label it drums, and then if we press this button here, this arrow, it condenses down and you've now got more space in your project. And that is track stacking. Tip number two, we have got coloring our audio files. I'm gonna show you right now how you change the color of your audio files so you can again categorize each audio file depending on what it is. Obviously we're gonna be on a Mac because it's Logic so you want to hit Option and C and that'll bring up this color window. So all you have to do is select the file that you want to change the color, select the color that you want and as you can see, the color changes. So for example, if we wanted to categorize our audio files better, I may want the drums to be one color so I'll make them a dark purple uh, and then I may want the bass to be a different color so I just know it stands out more. So I make that light blue. And as you can see, there is now a distinguishable difference between the audio files and I know which files are for what instrument in the project. And coming in with tip number three, this one is for tidying up our effects in the main mix window. And we are going to be using bus sends to do this. Using bus sends is not only a great way to be able to control the amount of effects that is applied to an audio track, but also it means that you can send that same effects to multiple tracks without having to duplicate it in a different track. So I'm going to show you right now how to create a bus send. In our logic window, we're going to hit X on the keyboard and that'll bring up our main mix window. Let's say for this example, I want to have the same reverb going through the drums and the guitar. So I want to create a bus send with a reverb on it that I can send at different levels to each drums and guitars so I can get it exactly how I want it. Because we created this track stack earlier, that means we don't have to send the reverb individually to each track we can just send it right through the output of the drum so you want to do is you want to go to sends here you want to click on it and go to bus and we're going to use bus one for this example and the bus send will always appear on the far right of the mixer and we'll then go into the channel and we're going to add a reverb we're going to keep it simple for this video now bring up our space designer say we've got a large bright reverb i'm just going to turn the way all the way up to zero that means we're going to get the full level of the reverb through depending on how much we send through so if we were to play the drums right now you'd notice there's no reverb on that's because we haven't actually sent any of the signal from the bus end to the drums so if i go over to this circle here i play the drums again and i turn this up you'll notice more of the reverb is getting added to the track Now by doing this, we can control exactly how much reverb we want to get sent to the drums. And as I said earlier, because we want the same effects to be on the guitar, we don't have to recreate the effects. What we can do again is just go to our sends, go to bus one, and then we can send the appropriate amount of effects that we want to the guitar as well. And the reason why it's great to use the same reverb on multiple channels sometimes is because then it creates the effect that the performance is happening in one room. So there you have it, guys. That is three quick tips to improve your workflow in Logic Pro X. If you want to see more of my content, you can either hit that subscribe button, which is on this side, or if you want to watch more of my videos, click here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.